Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Prep Softball Egan High School Wildcat Stadium. Second game of a doubleheader. Rosemont Iris versus the Egan Wildcats. Thank you very much for joining us for game number two. Appreciate everyone coming out. Also, thank you. Special thank you to Egan TV for their hard work and dedication to help out Egan sports and all the high school sports throughout the uh, Midwest and so forth and here in the Twin Cities. Once again, greatly appreciate it. Great job by everyone. Second game, there'll be no national anthem. We're going to hit the ground running here. So for this second game, the Rosemont Irish will be the home team. Rosemont Irish will be the home team. Egan will be the away team, so they're batting first. Hope to bat first is Drew Busley. First pitch swinging, ground ball to third. Over to first, one down. If you didn't join us for the first game, kind of got away from Egan on the, in the sixth, uh, sixth inning, gave up 11 runs, so ended up being 16 to nothing for Rosemont. So batting for Egan, number 14, Drew Bussey, just line, ground out. Jocelyn McClary, Jaden Turner, Taylor Bertrand, Isla Loblosser, Ellie Marson, Megan Witt, Lauren Larson, Lauren Berger is the batting order. Stepping in there is Jocelyn McClary. One ball. Ball number two. So for the double header, the umpires end up switching also uh, with each position. We have two umpires in Minnesota State High School League. Ground ball up the middle by Jocelyn. Yeah, yeah. That brings up number three batter, yeah, senior Jaden Turner. Jaden Turner. Turner. One out. Runner in first. And the pitch. Swing and miss. No balls, one strike, one out. Top of the first. Dust Devil coming through. It's been windy out here, folks. Uh, the winds are really picking up. Uh, seems like a little bit harder now for the <laughs> rest of the afternoon. So south wind blowing definitely straight out. 1-1 one, one count. Pitch. Low ball. Ground ball. Makes through the hole. On the mound, number six, Bryn Anderson for the Rosemont Irish. Uh, fielding for the Irish will be as follows. Behind the plate, Grace Newson. On the mound, Bryn Anderson. Over at first, Morgan Honeycutt. Second, Rachel Stone. Shortstop, Barry Prinsel. Third, Julie Wiggle. Left field, Caleb Bartom. CeCe Hansen out in center and Peyton Benson out in right field. One ball, no strikes. Up to bat, Taylor. Bertrand, up high for a ball. Everybody got their uh, couple hot dogs in them during in between games here. Got the field ready for another game. Base hit, that's out to the fence, off the fence. Let's see if he tries to make, have Jocelyn score. Jane's going to third. Umpire says he missed her on the tag, so Jocelyn scurries around to touch home plate and labeled as safe. Umpire 
Umpire is expressing no tag by her. So that ends up giving Taylor a double. Jaden Turner at third. Trying to hit the cutoff, comes all the way through. I think Johnson maybe did the old high step around. That's a ball. Up to bat, number 98, Isla Loblosser. Christian changing up the lineup a little bit here. Swing and miss by Isla. Isla was batting ninth position first game. Moved up in the order. Windy out there. It's a strike. No call by the umpire. Kind of looked at it, so I'm guessing it's safe. All right. One ball, one strike. Strike three. Two down. See the captain, Ellie Morrison, up to bat. In there for a strike. The pitch up high. One ball, one strike. Two down, top of the first here. Foul ball, he can strike him first. This game, one run, fouled off by Ellie. Wind is definitely picked up and flags are straight out. Ground ball. Batter's out on third. Looks like the runner may have touched the outfielder and no interference call. Egan one. Irish coming to bat, bottom of the first. Fostering a pet for a friend or neighbor can keep families together. Learn more at petsandpeopletogether.org. How do you know when you've made the right decision? It's the feeling you get in your gut. The one that tells you what's right or wrong. It's the voice inside you that says, I'm buzzed. Better leave the car when it's time to go. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back to Wildcat Stadium. This is Steve Witt, your announcer for this afternoon doing play, play, play. Coming up to bat, this is the bottom of first. So game two, we're switching the order. So Rosemont is the home team. So up to bat first would be number 36, Cece Hansen. Number 13, Ariel Prinzel. Number 12, Grace Newsom. Number nine, Kayla Bartol. Number six, Bryn Anderson. Number five, Julia Wiggle. Wiggly. Number 32, Morgan Honeycutt. Number 22, Rachel Stone. And number 56, Peyton Benson. Rounding out the order for Rosemont. Once again, Rosemont is the whole team for this second game. So leading off as the first game, number 36, CC Hansen. On the mound, we've got number 23, Junior, Jocelyn McClary. So behind the plate, Taylor Bertrand on the mound, Jocelyn McClary. Jaden Turner, number 16, first base, Lauren Larson, second, Megan Wittick, short, Maddie Fletcher, third. Drew Busley in center, Isla Loblauser. And looks like in left field, we've got Lauren Borger. First strike. Swing and miss. Jocelyn get ahead of the count, 0-2. Change up high. For a ball. Right, 
in there for a strike, swing a strike. One down. Uh, brings up number 13, Ari Prinsel. Short stop. Low for a ball. I believe she is committed to Creighton. One ball. Inside for a strike. One ball, one strike, one out. Bottom of the first. Swing through that, uh, swung through that uh, rise ball for Jocelyn. Jocelyn really knows how to hit the corners. Inside, swing and a miss. Strike two, or st excuse me, strikeout. Swing and strikeout, so that's two outs. Brings up the catcher, Grace Newsom. Low for a ball. Once again, game two, we flip the home and away team, so Irish is the home team. Up high for a ball. A lot of other action throughout the uh, South Suburban Conference. We all got double headers. I'll try to get to a couple of scores that have been posted. Inside for ball. Score is posted on the Softball Hub, Minnesota Softball Hub. If you're trying to look for information about all the high school teams around the Twin Cities area, go to Minnesota Softball Hub. Do a great job of getting all the scores recorded, etc. In there for a strike. Three balls, one strike, two out. Bottom of the first. Egan up, one nothing. Three balls, one strike. Outside for a ball. Rosemont getting their first uh, runner of the day. So we'll get a courtesy runner for Rosemont on first. Caleb Barler, Bartle. My apologies. Two down. Inside for a strike. Taylor thought about snapping that down to first. No balls, one strike. Bottom of the first. Jocelyn hit the lower part of the strike zone. First strike. 0-2 count. Strike three. Egan gets out of the inning. End of one. Egan Wildcats one. Rosemont Irish is zero. your hands for 20 seconds, just like Elmo. How do you know when you've made the right decision? It's the feeling you get in your gut, the one that tells you what's right or wrong. It's the voice inside you that says, I'm buzzed. Better leave the car when it's time to go. Buzz driving is drunk driving.
Welcome back. Eden Wildcats Stadium. You look at old glory there. It's blowing out. Current weather is temperature 75. Oh, it's a wonderful 75. Winds 19 miles an hour from southwest precipitation zero. Community 26. Dry. I think there are some fire warnings out there. So please be careful out there if you're having any, any open campfires tonight. Once again, wind is blowing out. Up to bat. Egan, number three, Egan Witt. Megan Witt. Very hard hit there. Jumping on that first pitch. Up to bat for Egan now, number 42, Lauren Larson. That's a ball on the ground. Megan watching the uh, ball, see if it gets past the catcher, take advantage. No balls, one strike. Top of the second order, once again, teams are flipped. Egan is the away team. Pop fly into that dead man area. Ooh, looked pretty close on the line. Foul ball though. No balls, two strikes to Lauren Larson at the plate. Third strike. Catcher decided to go down to second. Drop third strike. Uh, next up, the left fielder, number 30, Lauren Borger. Drop third strike, so the batter is automatically out at first. They threw down to second. Tag the runner out at second. Two down, up high. One ball, no strikes. Ground ball, it's gonna be a long throw there. Safe at first. Does Lauren Borger that made it to first? All right. Brings back to the top lineup, Drew Busley. Change up. Quick throw back down to first. Gets back. No balls, one strike. Top of the second. Hard hit straight out to left field. It was hard hit. Egan one hit, no runs. Brings us to the bottom of the second. Rosemont coming up to bat. Wildcats one, oh, Rosemont Irish zero. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third generation race car driver and we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. Welcome back, folks, to Egan Wildcat Stadium. Second game over the Egan doubleheader, Egan Rosemont doubleheader of the afternoon. Egan Wildcats one, Rosemont Irish zero. Bottom half of the second inning. Wildcat Stadium here in Egan, Minnesota. Absolutely beautiful day out here on the mound. Junior, Jocelyn McClary. It's a long drive, see if Drew can track it down. Nope. Stand up double. That 
wind carried the ball a little bit. Drew just couldn't track it down. Probably in a couple steps too much. Thought she could track it down. Courtesy runner coming out. All right, all right. Courtesy runner, Lily Staff coming in to run. Julia Wigley coming up to bat for the Irish, number five. Nobody down. Bottom of the second. And the pitch. Inside. Dust Devil coming through. Everybody shields their eyes. All right. No balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. All right, the wind is picked up, so it's creating a lot of dust. So a lot of, a lot of players are getting dust in their eyes. So they, you can see the players rubbing their eyes are like a little tall there on the, the throw. Pitch uh, got away up high. Players are rubbing their eyes. A lot of dirt out there. So, so runner advances to third. We've got one, two count. Down the line. Great catch. Tags up. All right, great catch though out there by Lauren Orger. Gets an out though. They did. They did score. Right. Here comes the replay. She runs this one down. Up to bat. Morgan Huntcut for Rosemont. In the pitch. Swing and a miss. Morgan is going to St. Cloud. So you congratulate. Her. Low and outside. A lot of these girls dream of playing college ball. Several of them do make it. Only about 7% of the softball athletes actually make it to a, any level of college softball. So if they can make it, that's pretty exclusive. And we've got a lot of them out here on the field today. So, matter of fact, South Suburban Conference has a lot of players moving on into the college ranks. Congratulations to all of them. All well-deserved. One ball, two strikes, one out. Bottom of the second. One, one tie, that's fouled off. Hey, good play by a fan out there that's got their glove with along. Outstanding catch, running catch even. Taylor giving the sign to Jocelyn in the pitch. Pulling the ball. Everybody doing the dance down the third base side. Morgan making her uh, making her coach do the happy dance over there. Went for the changeup. She weighed on it. Nice base hit out to center. Rosemont getting another runner. One out on the second. For the Irish, number 22, Rachel Stone. Rachel Stone up the bat. Had a good first game. One out. Taylor dropping her knees, getting that ball blocked, preventing the runner from advancing. One ball, no strikes, one out. Bottom the second. Ball inside. Ball up high. Tried to do a went with the rise ball. Three balls, no strikes. Three balls, one strike.
Ball tipped into Taylor's glove. Three balls, two strikes. That one got away from her. Ball four. Peyton Benson up to bat. One down, runners on first and second. Inside for a ball. Up high for a ball. Two balls, one strike. Or excuse me, two balls, no strikes. One out. Bottom of the second. Swing and a miss. Eagan Wildcats one, Irish one. Bottom of the second, one down. Irish got runners on first and second. Two balls, one strike. Nice swing and a miss. Two to the count. One down here. Falled off, staying alive. And the pitch. Up high. Gets away. That's going to let the runners advance. Runners now advanced to second and third. You got one out. You got a full count, three, two, one out. Nice inside pitch by Jocelyn. Out number two. All right, back to the top of the order. Number 36, CeCe Hansen. Two outs, bottom of the second. Swing and a miss. Oh one. one here comes the pitch. Bunt. Safe at first. Runner scores from third on the squeeze. Brings up the shortstop, Ari Prinzel, number 13. Looking in for the sign and the pitch. That's a ball. Runner goes down to second. They try to a quick cut to see if that runner at third is going to try to advance home. Nothing doing by Rosemont there. Got one ball. That could be trouble. Soft blooper down first. It's Two runners in. Runners are running and two out. Two more by Rosemont. Next up for the Irish, the catcher, Grace. Catcher, Grace, snoozing up to bat. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. One on, just outside. Missed outside. 
One ball, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the second. Rosemont's pushed a couple through. And the pitch. That one's far and deep. Home run. That one got up in the air. That was no doubter. Two out home run. That hurts. And the replay, you can just tell she had that launch angle pretty good. Got it up in the jet stream. Put it way out past the batting cage. Good job. Number nine, Caleb Bartle, up to bat. So it now makes it Rosemont Irish five, Eagan Wildcats one, bottom of the second. Pop fly. Who's got it by Egan? She's got it. A little miscommunication there by Isla and Drew, but we got her. End of two. Egan Wildcats one, Rosemont Irish five. worth more than my skills. I've run this place for 20 years, but I still need to prove that I'm more than what you see on paper. You just gotta be so good they can't ignore you. It's the way my mind works. I have a very mechanical brain. Analytics and empathy. That's how I gain clients. I am more. I'm more than who I am on paper. How do you know when you've made the right decision? It's the feeling you get in your gut, the one that tells you what's right or wrong. It's the voice inside you that says, I'm buzzed. Better leave the car when it's time to go. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back to Egan Wildcat Stadium. Second game of doubleheader. Top of the third inning. Second game, so teams are flipped. So the uh, Egan is the away team. Rosemont is the home team. Up to bat, number 23, Jocelyn McClary. Excuse me, McClary. That's low for a ball. Her strike. Balled off. One ball, no strikes. Top of the third. Here we go. Up high for ball. Balled off. Two balls, two strikes. Got it through. Good job, Joss. That brings up senior captain, Jaden Turner. Nobody out. Runner on first. See if he can, he can, can string some hits together here. Up high for a ball. On the mound for Rosemount, Brent Anderson. Pitch. Outside for a strike. Top of the third here. One ball, one strike. Called off by Jaden. 
Catches the fence, comes back in. Still windy out there. Hasn't gone anywhere. One ball, two strikes. Pop fly. One down by Rosemont. Brings up our catcher, number 64, Taylor Bertrand. Brandon had to battle the sun a little bit there. All right, solid line drive for Taylor. Quickly brought in by Rosemont. So Ian's got runners at first and second. Only one down. Hard hit. Brings up brings up number 98, Isla Oblosser. All right. All right. Taylor wasn't watching. She could have gotten over second. So with that block and ball down, Jocelyn took advantage, went to third. Taylor remained at first. No balls, one strike, because Isla did offer at that. That's a fair ball down the line. Isla's going to run down the second. She's pretty fast. She's looking up. Taylor's held at third. Good choice by Coach Duncan there. Hold it. I think it would have been a close play at home. Got one down. Let's just get got one run out of it. Pull it right down the line. Way to go, Isla. Brings up our senior captain, Ellie Marston. All right, inside for a ball. So Egan has runners at second and third, one down. No balls, one strike. Laying down the bunt, Let's see what comes up. Safe at home, squeeze play. Ellie Marston gets down the bunt, great bunt. All right, Egan's got runners at first and third. Great bunt, got it out front, just kind of died right there. They thought about, they came home with it real quick, didn't quite get the tag down. All right, Cats got two on the board here. Make it three to six, one down. Brings up senior, number three, Megan Witt. Got runners at first and third. Fake bun attempt, good cut at it. No balls, one strike. Top of the third. Ball that one off. Still runners at first and second. One down. Outside for a ball. One, two count, pitch. That's a ball up high. Two, two count, top of the three. Runners at first and third. Ball back by Megan. Just gotta work on that timing just a little bit. Outfield is looking pretty straight up. Infield ready. Straight out, center field. Coming home. Sack fly by Megan Wick. Gets a run in, straight out, center field. Brings in a run. Cats have four now. 
Brings up junior second baseman Lauren Larson. Uh, runners out at first, out second play. Is nothing really good slide. Isla's got pretty good speed. I expected her to be able to get that get in from there. Lauren Larson up to bat. That should find a gap. Got a girl, Lauren. One run scores. See if she holds it second. Solid two base hit for Egan. Puts up another run, another run up on the board. Two down. Egan making some noise here. We have a time out by Rosemont. May see a pitching change here. Everybody's looking at the dugout expecting, yep. Looks like we're going to have a pitching change here for Rosemont. We're at the top of the third. Egan's pushed across four runs. Now five, to Egan cats five, Irish six. We have a pitching change. Nice hit by Lauren there. Stand up double to the fence. Brings in a run. So we got upcoming, we got with the future coverage with Egan TV. So we got the boys lacrosse, St. Thomas, coming in town against Egan. That's on Tuesday, April 16th at 6.30. Baseball, boys baseball, Burnsville at Egan here live on Wednesday, April 17th at 4.30. Boys volleyball, these boys, boys volleyball is now a Minnesota State High School League uh, sport. Congratulations to them, well deserved. Bloomington Jester comes in to play Egan on Wednesday, April 17th at 7 p.m. Uh, so very excited for the Egan boys volleyball program. Pretty strong program right now out of the gate. They intramural wise and so forth when they're playing they were pretty strong and dominant. I believe they won maybe one or two championships there uh, from an inter intramural aspect. So excited to see them uh, getting their due uh, and that uh, in Minnesota State High School League uh, bringing them on board uh, as an official uh, high school league sport. Once again thank you to Egan TV for bringing us these games and coverages and so forth like that. It's simply outstanding. I really appreciate it. Parents, students, staff, everybody loves it. All right. We had a change in pitchers. Up to bat numbers, number 30, Lauren Borger. Up high for a strike. 0-2 the count. Ball. Kind of skipped it in there. One, two, the count. Once again, top of the third. Rose, or excuse me, Egan's pushed across a couple of runs here. That's a swing and a miss. So, top of the third is over with. Egan's pushed, like I said, pushed a couple of runs across. We got. Uh, Going into the bottom of the third, once again, because the second game of the doubleheader, Rosemont is the home team. Cast five, Irish six. You know you don't have to wear your PT gear anymore, right? It's comfortable. So how's the civilian life treating you? It's fine. When I got out, I didn't want to admit that there was anything wrong because it felt like a failure. And then I realized, like, there's nothing to be ashamed of. So I started talking to someone. Maybe you are fine, but if you're not, it's okay. Thank you. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. Welcome back to Eagle Wildcat Stadium. Second game of the doubleheader between the Rosemont Irish 
and the Egan Wildcats. Once again, beautiful day out here at Wildcat Stadium. Thank you very much for all the fans coming out here. Still got a pretty strong crowd out here. Thank you very much for everyone to come out. So appreciate everyone coming out. We've got people still out in the outfield there and so forth like that. On the mound, we've got Jocelyn McClary. Uh, coming up to bat for Rosemont, that will be the Irish Ava Fry. J excuse me, Jora Fry. My apologies. Outside for a pitch, ball one. Inside for a ball. Inside for a strike. Jocelyn McClary is hitting her, hitting her points on the strike zone. Inside, outside, she's really placing her pitch as well. Ball two for a fall. Makes 2-2 two, two count. Nobody out. Bottom of three. Got a good game going on here. A lot of traction. Egan trying to bounce back from a tough first game there. One inning got a, really got away from him. Rise ball. Swing and a miss. One down. Bottom half of the third inning. One down. Pitch. Down low for a strike. And the pitch. Off. Oh. Jaden just once again tried to look over her shoulder. I'm not sure if she's getting any communication from her teammates telling her she's got room or not. Tough looking back up into that sun. Sun's at its highest point right now. That's a that's a ball. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Tip. All right, looks like the umpire maybe took that one a little bit. Uh, follow tip. Seems to be all right. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch by Jocelyn. Pop fly. Jocelyn calls off her first baseman. Good job by Jocelyn. Communication out there is the key. All right. Number 32 is Honeycutt up to bat. Followed off. No balls, one strike. Two outs. Bottom of three here. Down low for a ball. Jocelyn looking in for the sign. Taylor gives it. Low for a ball. Two balls, one strike. Hard line drive down the third base line. Coming in strong. Stand up double. Good line drive down the, just pulled it down the line. Got on it. Rosemont puts a runner on base. We've got two outs. Runner on second in scoring position. In there for a strike. 
No balls on strike, two out. Down low. Bottom of three. Fouled back. Gives us one ball, two strikes, two down. Got a runner on second for Rosemount. Fouled off. Couple of high stratus clouds coming in. Give us a little break from the sun. I know. Don't complain, Steve, about the sun. Inside for a strike. Way to hit your pit spot. Way to go, Jocelyn. is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This is good and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. Good afternoon, Wildcat Stadium. I'm Steve Witt, doubleheader today. Rosemont Irish visiting the Eagan Wildcats here at Eagan Wildcat Stadium. Second game of a doubleheader. Rosemont Irish for this second game is the home team. So we're at the top of the fourth inning. So Eagan Wildcats coming to bat. Eagan Wildcats five, Rosemont Irish six. Good look at all the fans of the stadium. Still got a bunch here. I think they're waiting for their other batch of hot dogs to come out here at the end of the game. Leading off for the Wildcats, top of the order, Drew Busley. Troy Fry on the mound, came back out on the mound for Rosemont Irish. She pitched the first game. Change up up high, ball one. Everybody straight up out in the outfield, down low for a ball. Flag still standing straight out. South wind. Inside for a ball. Rosemont's hit two home runs today. Some hard hit balls. Just got to get it up in the air and we'll go. Three balls, no strikes. Strike. Top of fourth. That's a walk. Now we got a runner at first. Drew Busley at first. All right, now up. Pitcher, Jocelyn McCleary. Kind of had a pitch out there. They thought Drew would be going. Big bunt there. One ball, no strikes. Got a runner on. Another great, absolutely outstanding bunt. Go. Drew thought about going to third. So we got runners at first and second. Nobody out. That brings up senior captain, Jaden Turner. Once again, that ball just dying out in the dirt. Two runners on for Egan. Nobody out, top of the fourth.
Christian thought he would try to send the runner and got thrown out at third. But runner advances to second. Outside for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. One down, runner in second. Swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike. Uh, earlier action, I'm seeing uh, Prior Lake beat Lakeville South four to nothing, and I'm also seeing Farmington beat Eastview eleven to one. Down first, so put out by the first baseman. Runner advances to third. Two down. Like I said earlier in game one, South Suburban Conference, very tough conference this year. You got both Lakeville schools pretty good. Farmington's outstanding. You got Rosemont, you got uh, Burnsville. And Egan capable of beating anybody. Just takes the right, uh, right circumstances. Up high for a ball. Number 64, Taylor Bertrand, catcher. One ball, no strikes, two out. Irish leading six to five. Up high for a ball. Side for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Two down. Top of the fourth. Runner in third. Pitch. Down low for a ball. Three balls, one strike. Shock P beat Burnsville, six to one. Their first game of the doubleheader. Kind of give me a little pitch there. All right, got a full count. Three balls, two strikes, two out. And the pitch. Going down looking. So after four. Burn, uh, Egan strands a couple of runners and so forth like that. Um, Rosemont Irish coming up to bat, bottom of the fourth. Every day thousands of kids start vaping. And I can't let this happen to my kid. Of course, it's awkward to talk to your kids about the dangers of vaping. Hey, bestie. How sketch is ready? It's hard to get their attention. Ready? Go. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, you, you even turn yours over. So if you want to talk to your kids about the dangers of vaping, you got to get it trending. No, you're doing it wrong. Let's go. <laughs> Can we talk? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Visit talkaboutvaping.org for tips on when and how to have the vape talk. Welcome back to Egan Wildcast Stadium. Second game of doubleheader. Rosemont Irish traveling down Highway 3, north on Highway 3 to Egan Wildcat Stadium. Thank you for coming out. Still a good crowd out there. Doing a little sing along between songs in between innings. Bottom of the fourth. We got Irish up six to five. Up high for a ball. Just outside. Hayden Benson up the bat. 56 for Rosemount. And the pitch. Inside for a strike. 2 1 is the count. Ball back. Jocelyn McClary on the mound for Egan. 
And looking in for the sign, the pitch. Fouled off again. Out over the, oh, same guy, running foul ball catch with his glove. Outstanding young man, thank you. Two balls, two strikes. That's a ball. Early in the season, Rosemont uh, looking at South Suburban standings, I believe now it's going to be 3-0 with the uh, first game win. Down low for a ball. Peyton squeezes out a walk. But it's going to be, once again, like it stated, South Suburban Conference is going to be a really tough conference. A lot of wins are going to be. Any team can beat anybody any given day in this conference, and it's going to make it real tough. Now for a low. All right. Egan caught sleeping out there a little bit. Took off. One ball. One ball, one strike. Irish runner has advanced all the way over to third. Soft running slap up the middle. Scores a run for Rosemont. Ball, ball. Brings up Crystal. Short stop. And one count. Grabbed out in the outfield for an out. One down. Pop fly again. Let's see if we can get that one. We're talking. Drew Busley with the grab, running grab. That's a long run. She's got good speed out there. She'll be going to the University of Sioux Falls next year, playing softball and basketball. Two down. Followed back. No balls, one strike, two outs. Followed off again. Pop fly, coming in again. Donating pet food can keep families together. Pets and people belong together. Learn more at petsandpeopletogether.org.
Welcome to Egan Wildcat Stadium. My name's Steve Wicht. Don't play by play for you. Today we have the Rosemont Irish versus the Egan Wildcats. Second game of doubleheader here. Okay. As mentioned before, South Suburban doing a lot of doubleheaders today. So we are at the top of the fifth. The second game here, teams flip. So Egan is the away team and Rosemont is the home team for this game. That is Isla. Here for a strike. Troy Fry on the mound for Rosemont. Back on the mound. She pitched the first game. She pitched a two hitter. Outside for ball. High stratus clouds have come in there, giving us a little break from the sun. Still windy though. Swing and a miss. Outside for a ball. Inside for strike three. Great pitch in the inside lower corner. Brings up number one, Ellie Marsden, senior captain. Outside for a ball. Fair ball. Nice long throw. Stretch first for the out. Two down. Kind of a backhand stab. Got the throw though. Brings up number three, Megan Witt, senior. Ball ball. Megan will be going to the University of Wisconsin Superior. Playing softball. Congratulations to her. Like I said before, quite a few athletes out here going on to play their softball, more softball in their lives. Congratulations to all of them. Well deserved. Put in the time and dedication to get that far. Recruiting process can be long and arduous. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Up high for a ball. Pretty much straight up in the outfield. Outside for a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Side swinging, Egan goes down. End of the top of the fifth, going to the bottom of the fifth. Irish seven, Egan five. Wash, washy, wash, washy, wash, wash your hands. Scrub them while you sing the song. Wash, washy, wash, washy, wash, wash. Rub your hands and fingers and the places in between. Wash your hands for 20 seconds, just like Elmo. Welcome back, Eagle Wildcat Stadium. Flags are still standing tall out in the outfield. He can put flags out on all the poles out there so you can always tell. It's amazing to watch. If you go watch from uh, right to left, sometimes the right field they'll be swirling and the left field they'll be blowing and sometimes it's blowing in. And so it's kind of fascinating if you watch all the flags going different directions. But for the most part, it's pretty much blowing 
out towards left field. Get it up in the jet stream. We've seen a couple balls here. Got him up in the jet stream, and they, they will go. You just got to get that right launch angle, and that everything in softball today is all about launch angle. So here we go, bottom of the fifth. Slow drooper to left. Rosemont seven, Eagan Cats five. Eagan definitely in it. They just need to string a couple hits together. Get in the afternoon. Looks like we're going to have a courtesy runner coming up here for Rosemont for Miss Fry to just hit. On the mound for the Eagan Wildcats, Junior Jocelyn McClary. Behind the plate, we now have Maddie Fletcher behind the plate catching. Taylor has moved to third base. Another kind of a bleeder pop, pop up. Center field, Drew charges in on it, but Rosemont gets the runner on base. So Rosemont got something going again here. Runners are first and second, nobody out. Bottom of the fifth. Rosemont's going to call a quick time here to discuss what the heck, what they want to do, where they want to try to drop down a bunt and advance some runners. You can discuss probably straight up what they want to do. So next week, Egan's just got two games on the docket for Wednesday and Friday. Here we go. Up high for a ball. Pass ball. Gets past Maddie. Bounces off. Runners advance. Runners are now at second and third. Up high. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Bottom of the fifth. Nobody out. Runners at second and third. Looking in for the sign. Here we go. Outside for a strike. Ball, two strikes. This is where Jocelyn's pretty effective. She can see if she comes inside or she throws a change up in the pitch. Try to go up high, see if the climbing ladder. No do. Two balls, two strikes. Rosemont's just looking to get this ball in play, see what happens. Tilted back on that one. Followed off to left. The pitch followed off again. Pitch down the line. Ball, ball. I can't quite see down in the corner there. Can't rely on the umpire to give us a fall or ball, ball or strike. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Rosemont's got runners at second and third. Bottom of the fifth here. 
Rosemont is the home team. And the pitch. Once again, coming down. Making the coaches do the dance. And the pitch. Drop third strike, throws it down first for the out. Got one down. Rosemont still sitting with runners at second and third, one down. Jocelyn McClary on the mound for Egan Wildcats. Pop fly. Megan Witt with the uh, two-handed grab. That ball was spinning a lot. Gives us two down. See if Egan can strand these two runners here. Plate Peyton Benson in there for a strike. No balls, one strike, two down. Jocelyn looking in for the sign. Down low. Good stop by Maddie Fletcher behind the plate. Pitch by Jocelyn there inside. One ball, two strikes. Two out. One, two pitch. Ball. Great job by Jocelyn. Change up. Got her on it. That's end of five. Rosemont seven. Egan five. Top of the six coming up. My character, Shazam, knows all about growing up in a family full of teenage superheroes. They're bold. Where's everyone going? To fight crime. Okay. Adventurous. Shazam! There's never a dull moment. And no matter what happens, they'll always have your back. All they need is a place to grow and be themselves. And the best part is, you don't have to be a superhero to adopt a teen. Learn more about adopting a teen from foster care. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. You can't imagine the reward. How do you know when you've made the right decision? It's the feeling you get in your gut. The one that tells you what's right or wrong. It's the voice inside you that says, I'm buzzed. Better leave the car when it's time to go. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Good afternoon, Wildcat Stadium. Steve Witt here. Got a good game going here. Rosemont Irish 7, Eagle Wildcats 5. Top of the 6th. Second game of the doubleheader. At bat, number 42, Lauren Larson. Inside for a strike. One ball, one strike. Both teams just kind of struggling to get a couple of hits together. Outside for a ball. Early in the season, going to a doubleheader. They got to make sure they're staying hydrated out there. Dropped her short for a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Top of the sixth. Players are straight up. On the outside for a strike. Three, one down. Brings up number 30, Lauren Borgia. Off 
Jeffers for the bunt. For a strike. No balls, one strike. Swing through for a strike. Up high for a ball. One ball, two strikes, one out. Top of the sixth here at Egan Wildcat Stadium. The wind is still blowing, hasn't gone anywhere. Sun's back out, though. Lauren kind of lunged at that. Oh, our, our trusty guy out in fall ball territory did not, could not get a glove on that one. It's made two of their outstanding catches. One ball, two strikes. Kind of half check swing, the second. Put out at first. Brings us back to the top of the lineup for Egan, number 14, Drew Busley. Nice soft swing, base hit to left field, gets on, runner on for Egan. See what they can do. Brings up junior, number 23, Jocelyn McClary. Throwing a pretty good game so far. Pretty good, very good, I should say. Outside for a ball. One ball, no strikes, two out. Top of the six, Egan's got a runner on first. See if Drew's gonna be running here. Change up. Josh just couldn't wait on it, sit on that enough. And the pitch. Swung through. One ball, two strikes. Two down, top of the six here. Down low for a ball. Keep thinking Drew is gonna take off. Two balls, two strikes, two out. For Jocelyn McClary at the plate. Fry on the mound. That's a ball outside. Three balls, two strikes. Something's going to be happening here, folks. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner should be going. And she goes. Swing and a miss. Egan goes down. One hit. Through six and a half. Rosemont Irish, seven. Dean Cats 5, bottom of 6 coming up. Do you want to go grab some frozen yogurt tonight? Maybe another time. Thanks, so. Hey, Charles, how do you like your burger? Ooh, well done, I hope. <sighs> I love this tree. We thought we'd try something new. Family art hour. Come on, sit down. Okay, guys, what do you think? <laughs> that is oh, you. Oh, you got jokes. You're funny. That is you. And that is your son and your other son. Learn about adopting a teen from foster care. You can't imagine the reward. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. Welcome back, Egan Wildcat Stadium. Bottom half of the sixth. Rosemont up to bat. Up high for a ball. 
Wildcats are the away team. Irish is the home team for this game. So we are at the bottom half of the sixth inning. A pie for a ball. Nice soft change up in there for a strike. One ball, one strike. And there's strike again. Egan kind of straight up. Out fall. Jocelyn's still heading the count, one, two. Like I said, Jocelyn's doing a great job of mixing up the uh, pitches today. Ball tip, strike, put out. Maddie Fletcher holds on to it, one down. Good ball tip catch there by Maddie. One down. Swing and a miss. In there for a strike. No balls. Two strikes, one out. Bottom of the sixth. Round ball. Ground ball, the shortstop, making it comes up. Nice, easy toss over to Jaden Turner at first, first second out. No balls, no strikes, two down. In there for a strike. Swing and a miss. Straight up, Egan outfield is right now. He's not going to be able to get that one. That was pretty much hard hit. Looks like a stand up double. That was very hard hit. Got on the inside pitch there. Looks like we're going to have a courtesy runner. Two out. Runner in second for Rosemount. High inside for ball. To the point of the game here. Jocelyn's got to push through. She's doing a great job. Pop fly. Couldn't quite squeeze it. I think she turned around and looked up at that sun kind of the wrong way. Rosemont scores. Stand up double. Two down, runner in second. And there for a strike. Oh, one count. Jocelyn looking in for the sign. A pie for a ball. One one count, two out. Outside for a strike, hitting that, hitting that spot. Good job, Jocelyn. He needs to shut this down here. Get another out. Get back in there. Start hitting. Pulled foul down the third base side.
One ball, two strikes, two out. Up high for a ball. Went up high, see if she would chase. Two on, or excuse me, one on. Swing and a miss. Throw it on the first for the third out. Strands a runner at second. Through six innings, Egan Wildcats five. Rosemont Irish scores one run, makes it eight. Cats five, Irish eight after six. It's something about having that piece of paper. Some people think that's worth more than my skills. I've run this place for 20 years, but I still need to prove that I'm more than what you see on paper. You just gotta be so good they can't ignore you. It's the way my mind works. I have a very mechanical brain. Analytics and empathy. That's how I gain clients. I am more. I'm more than who I am on paper. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear, because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> you get it? Yes, good job. So, what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container, because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. See, Smokey thinks I'm funny. Welcome, e Egan Wildcat fans. Egan Wildcat Stadium. Second game of our doubleheader, Rosemont Irish versus Egan Wildcats. Top of the seventh, Egan Wildcats need three runs. Up to bat, Jaden Turner, outside for a ball. One ball, no strikes, trouble. JT with the, the bleeder. He gets the bleeder. Got one. Looks like we may have a pinch runner for Jaden. Number 77, Maddie Kenzie's gonna come on and run for Jaden Turner. Maddie, a little bit faster than Jaden. Nobody out. Number 64, Taylor Bridger, and up to bat for Egan. That's off, bounced off the side. Egan able to advance the runner down to second base. So that's what it takes. for a new ball, new ball in play, one ball, no strikes, nobody out. Taylor flies out to left field. One down, top of the seventh, runner on second for Egan. Still trying to keep this alive here. Need three runs. Outside for a ball. You always got to start with the first run, then keep working on the second one. So one base at a time is what Egan needs to do right now. Down low for a ball again. Two balls, no strikes. One out. Top of the seventh here. Game two of our doubleheader today. And there for a strike. Two balls, one strike. It's a low blosser. Pop fly. Third baseman. Nice catch. All right, two down. 
Comes down to Ellie Marston here. Two down, runner in second. Outside for a strike. No balls, two strikes, two out. Top of seventh year. Egan's got to string a few together. Ball outside, graciously. Ellie Marsden at to bat. Swing and a miss, strike three. That makes it the game, folks of the double he second game of the double header. So with that said, Rosemont Irish eight, Egan Wildcats five, their second double header. Irish sweep the Wildcats two nothing today. Thank you very much once again. Special shout out to Egan TV. Thank you very much for all that you guys have done. Definitely appreciated. I know as a parent, it's greatly appreciated all the work you folks do time and effort that's put in. Can't thank Egan TV enough for all that they've done for our local community in Egan. My name's Steve Witt. It's been a pleasure today. Thank you to our umpires. All our fans have come out. We had a great group of people come out today. Uh, hopefully all got, uh, hopefully they had uh, their sun lotion on today to cover themselves. Once again, my name is Steve Witt. We definitely appreciate everyone coming out. Next time, we'll see you down the road.